Hi folks, welcome back to another video by VU3 Golf Whiskey November. Last week uh, I gave a quick demo on uh, DL2 Man. This week I have a USDX, a new USDX on the market. This uh, is a three bander uh, with from Hamgeek. There are a lot of clones of this, uh, but I believe uh, this is a good one by Hamgeek. You can go to Hgeek. I'll put a link in the description below and buy yours. Uh, this is retailing for eighty-eight dollars plus another ten dollars plus customs. Uh, charges uh, when I imported it to India, right? So let's see how this goes. Uh, it came very well packed, as you can see the box. Let me put this aside, and uh, here it is. It's got a fantastic uh, feel to it. Sorry, and uh, as you can see, we have the power, uh, the on and off switch, a PTT, and uh, we have got Bluetooth this side. I'll show it to you later. Then I got the speaker and the gear mic, and we have got a UART port. I believe this is for firmware upgrade, but I am still not sure. There is no official clear documentation by Hamgeek, so I am waiting for that. But right now, this comes with uh, 4.00D version. I believe that is the latest, so I am not really bothered about firmware updates right now. And this also came with a very nicely done, uh, so looks like a bowfung, but it comes with a molded uh, T T R R S uh, plug, very nicely done. Though I opened up the thing and the speaker wire is not connected within that. So if I connect the speaker wire, maybe I'll get the audio in this. But uh, the default uh, speaker in this is pretty good. Let's listen into uh, quickly the AirNet India that is going on right now. I'll just connect uh, the antenna and uh, let's quickly take a listen and then we'll go to the other stuff on this radio. Right. Let me quickly connect the power supply and uh, switch it on. Right. So the RX is excellent and I like it. Uh, let me adjust this a little bit. Let me also try to do a check-in into the net. So, while we are listening there, let me give a quick overview on the net. VU2 Lima Alpha Uniform, VU3 Golf Whiskey November. Very good evening, Lakshman. Copying you 10 or 9 into Bangalore. Excellent copy. How do you copy me? Please give me a critical report. Back to you, VU2 Lima Alpha Uniform, VU3 Golf Whiskey November. Thank you very much, Lakshman. I am copying you 5.9 to 10 dB or 9. Excellent copy. Thank you for that 5.8 report and uh, audio quality report. I am also QSO with VU2 Lima Alpha Uniform. It's kind enough to come on the call. And uh, let's explore this uh, rig a little bit more. I'll just disconnect the antenna. And as you can see, uh, let's look at the controls that are there. Here we have an on and off switch. Even though it's a three-way switch, they've used only two sides of it on and off. And then we have the PTT. I haven't had the much luck with the PTT and the front mic here. Like they had with DL2 man, DL2 man, the PTT and the mic works fantastic. Not so much here. So, but they've given a fantastic uh, mic here. This performs uh, beyond my expectations and it's a very nice molded cable too. So I'm very happy with this. Then we have got the speaker. I haven't had the chance to connect the external speaker yet because the internal speaker is excellent. Then we have a very nicely done uh, BNC, very good quality BNC. Then we have the Bluetooth on and off, right? Uh, so uh, I'll uh, show the Bluetooth uh, another uh, day. But uh, so far, I've been very happy with this with very good reports. <coughs> I get consistent 5.8, with about four and a half watts now let me come back and connect a external uh, amplifier to this my trusted micro pa50 plus with the latest uh, b1.6 uh, firmware and let's see how much uh, watts we get we are back so Thank you what i've done here back. is i've connected my radio to the micro pa50 and connected the antenna to the micro pa50 and i'm not using a tuner here because i'm using my inverted v and i know it is tuned at least on the 40 meters it's tuned for 40 20 15 and 10 i can use any of that and i'll be good so what we have here is uh, this one uh, for testing purposes uh, let's uh, quickly go to 7040 uh, okay 7060 will also work i'll just uh, put that in uh, cw mode i'll switch off the pa and uh, put this in cw mode so that i don't have to talk on the mic and i'll do it's uh, right now putting about uh, 7 so it's saying 8.35 whiskey and uh, 7.16 there on the meter uh, so which is a little high so let me reduce uh, 
it's not such a good idea to get uh, so much of power out of the uh, uh, transform uh, this one um, mosfet so let me reduce it to 140 i think that's that should do the trick right uh, oh by the way this one doesn't use bs170 it uses irf fighting that's how mosfet is uses so right now we have 1.90 watts and 2.43 watts there is there will be some differences so on an average about uh, 2.2 watts uh, right so and then let me uh, i can so as you can see he can hear the tone uh, uh, let me just uh, switch on the pa and see how much it will take it up to so it's uh, the thing is shouting it will reset itself so we need to reduce some more uh, 1.3 so uh, i believe somebody is there so let us uh, go back to 7040 and uh, yeah so for about uh, 1.73 uh, watts point 73 watts it's putting about uh, 44 whiskey so it's more to do with the micro pa and not necessarily this i just wanted to show this because uh, some people have asked me can you connect a amplifier to this yes you can connect and it works wonderful only that you need to manage uh, the pa bias max here if you look at it pa bias minimum is zero which should be set to zero because then the mosfet will be turned off otherwise it will always be on so not a good idea right let's uh, come back and look at all the roger menu. roger uh, vu2 nsl vu3 golf whiskey november very good evening uh, subbu good evening to one and all on the frequency call it, uh, copying you 10 db or 9 into bangalore it's a very noisy band today i am pushing about uh, 40 whiskey no other traffic back to you vu2 nsl vu3 golf whiskey november now clean the pipe and connect this to the antenna directly now let's go through the menus uh, one by one and i'll explain how much ever i know so let's start with uh, 1.1 this is the standard uh, usdx menu system no changes there one is the volume by default it will be 12 uh, mode is cw you can change it here the best thing about this radio is the volume here you don't have to go through that menu to adjust the volume and uh, you can exit this via this and i have not seen any cw decoder yet if uh, there is one i have not seen it yet i'll uh, let you know if there is one right so we have got the modes uh, here uh, okay let me go back to the mode as you can see there is fm am uh, cw usb lsp so it's got ssp cw and i don't see ft8 mode uh, they have written it here but i don't see that right so that's fine and uh, the next one is filter bandwidth as you can see there is uh, uh, 3000 i think full is i don't know if it is 3.5 or 4k i don't know this is 3k 2.4 1.8 500 and 200 this for cw so let's leave it at full as uh, uh, the bands uh, this you can cycle through all the bands here but as you know only the lpf is there for only these three bands and they are active so let's leave it at 40 for now and then the tune rate uh, the vfo mode ab the narity agc noise uh, reduction is actually pretty good i usually set it at 2 and then att att2 uh s meter has s uh, s bar and uh, wpm for uh, of course uh, cw and uh, so uh, there is no db <coughs> okay and then swr meter we have forward swr forward uh, 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 reverse and uh, then uh, uh, you know uh, this one is uh, efficiency i guess i haven't tried it so let's stick it to forward uh, then semi tsk this for <coughs> break in this is practice mode you turn on practice mode and uh, tx is disabled there is no t happening it goes into p mode and there is no output out of circuit so let's uh, go out of practice mode off right and then vox i uh, use this for ft8 a lot noise gate tx drive this is very important you can set it to zero to reduce i i usually put the tx drive and reduce the pa bias max for using the amp as you can see pa bias minimum should be set to zero then max i can now since uh, you know using this at id without any amp i'll usually set this, set this to 170 right 
<clears throat> and then this is zero bit calibrated so you don't have to do it works out of the box i know my dl2 man i had to do the zero bit calibration but not for this this uh, works out of the bat and the iq phase for rx and the cat 115k this is to enable cat mode so when you i don't have another phone to show you ft8cn but i'll i'll do another video for that you can enable cat mode on ft8cn via bluetooth i have done that it's uh, dicey but it works sometimes then it stops working so i haven't had a good handle on that yet but i'll be doing a video on that shortly i honestly don't know what this does i asked around they said it's in a menu option to account for some software glitch so i'm not using it i'm just keeping it off and then the light it works on and off so <coughs> am i happy about that pretty much that's it so overall fantastic radio very good feel and it works very nicely as you can hear the qso the speaker is excellent and i'm getting very great reports so it's a good buy i'll put on the link at the bottom uh, so that you can also try out and uh, have uh, great fun with this cute little radio thank you very much